weeks from Saturday, the Monday Night Raw crew heads to Bakersfield, California for the Raw exclusive Vengeance event. But tonight, the Red Brand makes a pit stop in the home of the Jazz, the Delta Center in Salt Lake City, Utah for a stacked night of Monday Night Raw action. And we are here to waste any time. We are kicking things off with the massive, colossal, big Bronson Reed. This man has been on a tear as of late, but can he keep that momentum strong in Salt Lake City? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. The big Aussie Bronson Reed returned to Monday Night Raw just over a month ago, and ever since has scored victories over the likes of the A-list superstar The Miz, Baron Corbin, an appearance on Velocity, and just a few weeks back a win over the sadistic Joe Gacy right here on Monday Night Raw. With the former NXT North American champion is not here to waste his time. Bronson Reed looking to pick up another victory tonight and step one foot closer to rising the ranks on Monday Night Raw. We could be looking at a potential champion here on the red brand in years to come. Well, still to come tonight, the WWE Champion Kevin Owens one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles in your main event. But Bronson Reed kicks things off, looking to turn the way the challenge of another former WWE Champion in the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Jinder drafted a Raw just a few weeks ago, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, but can he start off his Raw career on the right foot? And his opponent, representing in the sheer from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Well, speaking of the draft, and as we just mentioned, the phenomenal AJ Styles alongside the OC drafted from SmackDown to Raw a few weeks back. AJ Styles arrives on the red brand in your main event as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion. Kevin Owens, who is still riding hot off the heels of Backlash nine nights ago, where he retained his title in the Fatal 4-Way matchup. That is still to come here tonight in Salt Lake City, but Brunson Reed, Jinder Mahal set the lock horns. It's these kind of matchup. No personal beef between these two men. It's all about building momentum here on Raw. With Vengeance looming in just under two weeks, just over two weeks, excuse me. You gotta imagine all the Raw superstars looking to get on the right track as we kick things off of the opening bell. As we mentioned, Bronson Reed has been very dominant ever since his Monday Night Raw return. Victories over The Miz, Baron Corbin, and Joe Gacy so far. Former WWE Champion Jinder Mahal, now a part of the Monday Night Raw roster. Bronson Reed looking to turn away his challenge tonight. Jinder Mahal not to be taken lightly, however. That former WWE Championship reign may have been several years ago, but it only takes one victory to get right back in contention. Kind of pulled himself right back to the main event scene. Jinder looking to start that road here tonight at Salt Lake City. Sold out Delta Center on the road to vengeance. It's Jinder Mahal, look at the strength. Trying to muscle up the big man, Bronson Reed. Gotta imagine this would be some sort of an upset tonight. Although Jinder Mahal been around the block a lot more here in the WWE than Brunson Reed and has been to the top of the mountain before. Momentum on the side of the man who has not suffered a defeat since he first re-emerged on the scene at Madison Square Garden last month. Well, AJ Styles and Kevin Owens headlining tonight's festivities also to come here on Monday Night Raw. The EST Bianca Belair, another draft D, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, is going to be in action one-on-one -on -one against Zaya Lee. Not the only women's action on hand. Cora Jade finally going to get her a one-on-one -on -one match that she's been waiting for against the buff Barbie Tiffany Stratton. Still to come tonight here on Raw, plus the badass Bron Bron Breaker. Excuse me, there's another badass in the ring, Brunson Reed, but Bron Breaker going to be right here in the Delta Center. Live tonight for the first time on Raw. Almost got a momentary distraction here as Brunson Reed running over Jinder Mahal in the ring moments ago and now continuing the fight at ringside. We told you it was going to be a stacked night of action. So much new talent courtesy of the WWE Draft two weeks ago and every Raw superstar looking to build momentum on the road to vengeance in the Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California. 
Saturday night, May the 11th. We're going to be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Can't wait to see how that match card takes shape. Meanwhile, back inside, in between the ropes. Look at the strength of the big man. Bronson Reed, so massive, so strong, and also so agile at times. He is a tough puzzle to figure out in between those ropes. It's the modern day Maharaja is finding out firsthand. Aaron Corbin, Joe Gacy, not so much the Miz, he got ran over. I'll, I'll just call it as it is, but Gacy and Corbin gave Reed a good run for his money, but in the end, Reed was the more resilient one in those contests, was able to get the victory. General Hall hangs in there, finds a window of opportunity. He may find a way to keep down those tree trunk size legs of Bronson Reed. Of course, easier said than done. Reed looking to go 4-0 since his Monday Night Raw debut and his WWE return. Power bomb. Heading to the top. And I think we know what comes next. Tsunami. Stack them up, opponent after opponent. Brunson Reed is on a tear. Oh, wait just a second. The Nigerian giant, Omos, walking out down the aisle. And it looks like Omos is drawing a line in the sand. Brunson Reed's been dominant, but it looks like the Nigerian giant, one of Raw's newest draftees, is looking for some competition, looking to prove he's the big man here on Raw. We want to take you back to last Monday night, Baron Corbin one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn right here on the red brand. And ever since the get-go of the matchup, Baron Corbin was on a tear. Sami Zayn not coming in at 100%, just seven days removed from a Intercontinental Championship defense against Carmelo Hayes at the draft lottery. And you see Sami Zayn there missing the Haluva kick wildly. Baron Corbin able to capitalize. A huge victory over the Intercontinental Champion in a non-title matchup. But unfortunately, the celebration for Corbin was short-lived as a man he once had an alliance with leading up to WrestleMania, that being the harbinger of doom carrying cross. Sneak it up on Baron Corbin and lay it him out in the middle of the squared circle. What we're about to show you is what happened when the cameras were off last Monday night after Raw went off the air. Corbin and Cross finding each other in the backstage area and continuing the fight from the squared circle. These two men once had an alliance with each other alongside Joe Gacy heading into the show of shows a few months ago. That alliance has gone up in smoke as both of these superstars were waging war, not between the bell, but in the backstage area last week. Corbin was laid out after his big time victory over the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn, something that did not sit lightly with a former champion in his own right. Here you see Karrion Cross sent off that ledge right through the table. Corbin and Cross were out to tear each other apart. From what we understand, moments after this, they were separated finally. Nobody coming out super scathed up, but certainly an interesting situation developing surrounding the Intercontinental Championship here on Monday Night Raw. It was last month here on Raw, Cora Jade was set to go one-on-one -on -one with Tiffany Stratton, but Stratton not interested in the matchup, instead replacing with a substitute the returning Chelsea Green to WWE. Well, Cora Jade was in for a fight and luckily was able to survive it against Chelsea on that one-on-one -on -one matchup, but Cora Jade's been itched at the chance to get her hands one-on-one -on, -one on the buff Barbie Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany Stratton, of course, eliminated Cora Jade in that battle royal last month at Madison Square Garden to become the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship, something she fell short of at Backlash nine nights ago. Stratton might have avoided Cora Jade on one one-on-one -on -one occasion, but tonight she's got to face the music. Does the center of the universe herself. But an interesting situation develops as Tiffany Stratton walks into this matchup empty-handed. Not something she was hoping for coming out of Backlash nine nights ago. 
but a chance to bounce back tonight and a chance for Cora Jade to turn away somebody who has recently surrounded the title may be a chance to put herself in championship conversations. And from Friar Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. Well, next time these Raw superstars come your way for a live premiere event, it is Saturday night, May the 11th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is the Raw exclusive Vengeance event for the Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California. I am sure the WWE Women's Champion Liv Morgan is looking for her next challenger. Was able to dethrone Rhea Ripley back at WrestleMania. We saw Rhea return last week. Certainly held a pay from the nightmare. Tiffany Stratton tried her damnedest back in San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash. Unfortunately, championships were not in her future on that night. But now the center of the universe, sometimes, but not all the time, full of herself. Tiffany Stratton going one-on-one -on -one with Cora Jade. Cora Jade's really been making some waves here on Monday Night Raw, getting in the ruffles of Tiffany Stratton and Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. A little bit of an alliance, loose one at that as of late. And we saw Cora Jade alongside Roxanne Perez, who has been drafted to SmackDown, as well as Liv Morgan in that six-woman tag team matchup two weeks ago against Chelsea, Sonya, and Tiffany. And it was Stratton with the roll-up victory, pinning Cora Jade in that matchup. This is what Cora has wanted, one-on-one, -on -one, no battle royal, no six-woman tag team, just a chance to prove herself against a woman who has recently challenged for gold. So far, so good. Cora Jade is all over the center of the universe, looking for her spotlight here in Salt Lake City. Tiffany Stratton looks like she doesn't know what hit her. Back to the top. Going for the senton bomb, nobody home. Tiffany Stratton, all the tools to be a champion here on Raw. Unfortunately, the day was not backlash April the 11th. Her time may come if she just keeps up the success she has had over the last month here on Raw. Easier said than done when she is in there with somebody young and hungry, just like her, as in Cora Jade. Two of the future pieces of the Monday Night Raw main event scene, absolutely. Right now, we are living in the moment of Liv Morgan as the WWE Women's Champion. We'd be remiss to talk about the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, who returned to action for the first time since WrestleMania last week and a dominating performance over Katana Chance. Tiffany Stratton looking for a victory tonight. Cora getting the shoulder off the canvas. And sure, Liv Morgan, somebody who is very eager to watch more women step up in the division, has got her eyes on this contest. Looking at Tiffany Stratton, somebody who gave her a run for her money. Back in the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Cora Jade, somebody who recently went one-on-one -on -one with Liv Morgan in non-title action. Liv could easily be seeing one of these two women once again in the future for the WWE Women's Championship. Stratton hoping it is going to be her. Off the crossbody. May have just crossed the finish line of the matchup first. Don't call her the center of the universe for nothing. Tiffany Stratton looking to prove why, but Cora Jade has got her own medal to test. Taking down Tiffany off the reversal and willing to bring things to the outside. Cora Jade a little rough around the edges, willing to break things down into a brawl if need be. Cora had this one-on-one -on -one matchup a month ago here on Raw. Tiffany Stratton was not interested in one-on-one -on -one competition, so close to a championship matchup. Somehow swindled a substitute, which was the WWE return and Monday Night Raw debut of Chelsea Green. Cora was able to survive on that night. Then Tiffany stuck it to her again in that six-woman tag team matchup two weeks ago. Now they fight one-on-one. -on -one. Tiffany Stratton looking once again to be the thorn in the side of the generation of Jade. Back inside the ring, on the shoulder she goes. Tiffany Stratton utilizing that victory roll, and it may utilize a three count here. And a close call, but Jade popping the shoulder up again. And there you see the young naiveness of the buff Barbie, in my opinion, setting in. A little bit frustrated, just as we saw back at Backlash, which may have cost her against Liv Morgan. Wait a minute. Inside cradle by Cora Jade. Out of nowhere. Huge victory. Cora 
Jade Steele on the win over Tick. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Rhea Ripley hitting the ring and throwing hands on the winner, Cora Jade, one for Tiffany Stratton as well. Rhea Ripley is back to rule Raw with an iron fist all over again. Sent a message to Liv Morgan last week, but evidently it wasn't enough. Laying waste to these two superstars here tonight in Salt Lake City. Well, Rhea Ripley of the Judgment Day wasn't the only members of the crew to make an impact last week on Raw. Damian Priest and Finn Balor issuing the open challenge that was answered by the returning Johnny Gargano, as well as Tommaso Ciampa, the reformation of DIY. A classic tag team wrestling matchup, old school style in the main event. No bells and whistles, just two teams duking it out to see who are the last men standing. Ultimately, the Judgment Day coming out on top in their open challenge. What they wanted to prove, that they are next in line to try to get back their world tag team titles. Jay and Jimmy Uso knew as such, came out on the stage to stare down Balor and Priest and send an emphatic message that they know what's coming, a WrestleMania rematch. And that is indeed what is signed on two weeks from Saturday at Vengeance. The Usos, The Judgment Day, one of the tag team matches of the year back at WrestleMania. They're going to run things back at Vengeance, Saturday night, May the 11th, for the world tag team titles. The caveat for this Vengeance matchup comes your way next week on Raw, as the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, is set to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the world tag team champions, Jimmy Uso. The winner of this matchup will be able to choose the stipulation for the World Tag Team title WrestleMania rematch come Saturday night, May the 11th in Bakersfield, California. Damian Priest and Jimmy Uso next week. But the dog is about to walk down the aisle tonight. Well, the dog has already gotten some scraps on the Monday Night Raw roster. We take you back to Velocity exclusively on TikTok last week as Braun Breaker went one-on-one -on -one with another one of Raw's newest draftees, that being Dijak, a former World Tag Team Champion of the Red Brand. These two men tearing down the house, leaving everything inside the squared circle and outside as well. Ultimately, Braun Breaker, the spear, the press slam combination, the badass scoring a huge victory, now a part of the Raw roster. This man is going to be a problem from every man in the Monday Night Raw locker room. A difference maker will be the badass. Braun Breaker makes his official Monday Night Raw debut live from the Delta Center. Up next, here on Raw. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok, the superstars of Raw, and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday, only on TikTok. Velocity each and every Wednesday, only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok page. And this coming Wednesday, two of SmackDown stars of the women's division will collide as the genius of the sky, EO Sky, takes on the first lady of the LWO, Zelina Vega. Vega looking to bounce back after a backlash loss. Sky Vega one-on-one -on -one this Wednesday only on Velocity on TikTok. Ashante the Adonis drawing the unlucky straw, in my personal opinion, as he's set to go one on one with the badass Braun Breaker, who's high out of the gate. Literally, like the dog got left in the yard and now is exploding onto the town. Braun Breaker. Went one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion in his last match representing SmackDown back at Backlash nine nights ago. 
Guther turning away the badass on that night, just a hump in the road as Braun Breaker has been on a tear on SmackDown and looking to bring that same energy to Monday Night Raw. This is a man who over the last month and change in the WWE owns victories over the rated R superstar Edge at WrestleMania, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, the Viper Randy Orton, the Nigerian Giant Omos, and just last Wednesday, Dijak on Velocity. Shante the Adonis went one-on-one -on -one with the returning Solo Sokoa a few weeks back, tried his luck against the street champ, didn't really work out. I'm not sure he's going to have any better luck against the badass here tonight. You don't say Braun Breaker's got that dog in him for nothing. He is all over Ashante in his Monday Night Raw debut. Braun Breaker's been on the main roster for just over a year at this point. This is a former two-time NXT champion, a man who has been a problem, win, lose, or draw for every man he has stepped foot in the squared circle with. Something that Ashante is finding out firsthand as he goes into the ropes and a spear for his troubles. You may as well count to 20. That's gonna be a wrap in Salt Lake City. Braun Breaker making a short order of Ashante the Adonis here tonight. And, oh, wait a minute. The street champ, Solo Sokoa. Oh, man, look at these two heavyweights. Toe-to-toe, toe to toe, eye to eye. Solo Sokoa. Maybe calling out Braun Breaker, a man who's been what in competition. He might have found it here on Raw. The megastar LA Knight has had his recent issues with the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. And in the middle of a battle with the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura last week, those issues came center fold. Seth freaking Rollins making his unwelcome presence down the aisle way, taking LA Knight's eye off the ball just long enough for Nakamura to recover and turn the lights off of the superstar known as LA Knight. The King Shasa spoiled the megastar's pursuit, but there is unfinished business between LA Knight and the revolutionary of Raw, and that business comes face to face. LA Knight, Seth freaking Rollins, something's gotta give between those two men, and they are finally gonna go one-on-one -on -one two weeks from Saturday in Bakersfield, California. LA Knight's been waiting for some payback over Seth Rollins since the Raw before WrestleMania. Issues have only boiled over from there. Rollins blames LA Knight for losing the WWE Championship matchup nine nights ago. Who's gonna get what they want? Who's gonna get the vengeance they so desire? We are gonna find out two weeks from Saturday in Bakersfield, California, when LA Knight and Seth Rollins meet one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. Tonight truly feels like a new era is beginning for Monday Night Raw. Superstars previously making their home on the blue brand now are wearing red, walking down the aisle here on Raw. A former champion in her own right, the EST, Bianca Belair, back on the red brand. And I'm sure she caught a glimpse of what Rhea Ripley did moments after the Cora Jade Tiffany Stratton encounter earlier tonight in Salt Lake City. Let's take a look once again. Cora Jade picking up a huge victory, catching Tiffany Stratton off guard with this inside cradle. You gotta imagine this victory felt good for Cora. She was waiting to get her hands on the buff Barbie for weeks. Unfortunately, a celebration that was cut short thanks to the arrival of the nightmare Rhea Ripley, who was on a tear last week, running over Katana Chance and now running over Cora Jade and had some for Tiffany Stratton as well. Rhea Ripley's intentions are clear. She wants another round with Liv Morgan. She wants the trilogy fight. She wants her WWE Women's Championship back and clearly is looking to go through anybody to get it. Nonetheless, Rhea Ripley making her presence felt earlier tonight, but right here, right now, it is about the EST Bianca Belair making her re-debut, re if you will, her return to Monday Night Raw. She's gonna have her hands full, though, with the ever-physical Zia Lee, who's Zia hot out of the gate, not looking to be a stepping stone for Bianca Belair's Raw return. 
Bianca, somebody who's a former WWE Women's Champion, last held that title about two years ago, right here on Monday Night Raw. Former Women's Tag Team Champion as well, around this time last year, Bianca Belair. A little bit of an up and down momentum over on Friday Night SmackDown over the last 12 months. Challenged the Women's World Champion Shayna Baszler on a few occasions, did not go Bianca's way. Made it to the final two back in January inside the Elimination Chamber matchup. Tapped out courtesy of Raquel Rodriguez. The woman who we just found out yesterday was going to be at SmackDown's exclusive live premiere event on May the 4th. Battleground, Sacramento challenging Shayna Baszler for that very Women's World Championship. But now Bianca Belair once again taking her talents to Monday Night Raw and a new championship may be on the horizon. Just as we talked about earlier tonight, Liv Morgan, the champion at the top of the mountain, has got to have her eyes on each and every one of these women trying to make some noise here on her brand, Monday Night Raw. Whether you've been here or you're just coming back, Bianca Belair, Zaya Lee, two women who I'm sure would love to step into the ring with the champion herself. If anything, Liv Morgan has proven that even against all odds, she can get the job done. Back against the wall, the ever-resilient champion, but maybe one of these two women, or maybe Cora Jade even, who picked up a victory earlier tonight, could be next in line, possibly be the kryptonite to live Morgan's championship reign. All remains to be seen, questions that we need answers to on the road to Vengeance two, we two weeks from Saturday, as we already found out tonight. Megastar LA Knight, one-on-one -on -one with Seth freaking Rollins. Those two men have been at each other's throats, to say the very least, for weeks here on Monday Night Raw. Finally going to settle that score in Bakersfield, California. What about the WrestleMania rematch for the World Tag Team titles? The Judgment Day and the Usos, 2v2 at Vengeance. Who is going to challenge Liv Morgan for the WWE Women's Championship? All remains to be seen. This matchup and the winner of it could very well dictate who's going to be next in line. Zaya Lee looking to turn the tables on the EST. Bianca Belair, but Bianca, ever resilient herself. The strongest, the fastest, the toughest, as they say. Zaya Lee may be going for a ride. Face first on the canvas. Knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Monday. Bianca scaling the ropes. Could be looking for that patented 450, but elects for the splash and send. The unpredictability of Bianca Belair. Mixing up her arsenal upon her raw return. Zaya Lee, however, the guts to keep fighting in this matchup. Easier said than done is victory when you're in there with the EST, as Zaya is finding out firsthand. They're trying to hang in there with, as we mentioned, a woman they call the toughest of the women's division in WWE. And oh, man, we talked about knockout blows. We might have just saw one live and in living color. Spin kick, Bianca able to get the shoulder up. Gotta imagine massive damage done. The boot connected with the jaw, going for another one. That could have been the end of days for Bianca. Able to avoid it. I don't know if you want to throw hands with the EST. Bianca, desperate times, calling for desperate measures. She elects for the neck breaker. A sense of urgency after the spin kick moments ago. Now Bianca going behind. Could be looking for a KOD and it lands flush. Welcome back to Monday Night Raw, Bianca Belair. Oh, wait a minute again. Well, now what? Rhea Ripley's music playing here in the Delta Center. And Rhea from behind attacking Bianca Belair as if she hasn't already made her presence felt tonight. Ambushing Cora Jade, going after Tiffany Stratton, and now a hand for Bianca Belair as well. Rhea Ripley will stop at nothing to get another match with Liv Morgan and to regain her WWE Women's Championship. Dijak turned some heads on Velocity last Wednesday, and he's looking to turn Seth Rollins upside down next week on Raw. The Visionary looks to build momentum towards Vengeance, but he's going to have his hands full against Dijak next week on Raw.
And as we found out earlier tonight, the Judgment Day and the Usos will wage war of vengeance, but what's the stipulation gonna be? It's gonna be chosen by the winner of this matchup. Damian Priest, Jimmy Uso, a vengeance preview coming your way seven nights from tonight as the road to Bakersfield, California continues. But it is main event time for the Delta Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. And for the first time in over a year, the OC accompanying the phenomenal AJ Styles draped in red on Monday nights. The former United States champion losing his title on his last SmackDown appearance. Look at bounce back here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Janesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. As AJ Styles returns to Monday Night Raw, we got to look back on what was one hell of a run over the last several months on Friday Night SmackDown. Credit where credit's due. The phenomenal one held the United States Championship from Sunday night, November the 19th, 2023, to Friday night, April the 10th, 2024. A great reign that includes victories over Cody Rhodes, Rey Mysterio, Santos Escobar, among others, but the one and only Ricochet in his second outing able to take down the phenomenal one just recently on Friday night SmackDown. But Styles has got to refocus as he approaches a matchup with the champion of Monday night. And his opponent from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. Well, nine nights ago in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Kevin Owens retaining his WWE Championship in the fatal four-way main event. One that featured chaos and anarchy from bell to bell, pinning the almighty Bobby Lashley. All the while, Seth freaking Rollins and the megastar LA Knight were too busy tearing each other apart on the opposite side of the squared circle. The man who has ruled 2024 so far, the Royal Rumble match winner back in January, the victor in the main event of WrestleMania, still atop of Monday Night Raw as your WWE Champion. The face of the red brand, I am sure, approaches a championship encounter two weeks from Saturday. The question is, who will stand across the ring for the prize fighter in Bakersfield, California? I'll tell you what, it could very well be the phenomenal AJ Styles. It is a non-title encounter tonight, but all it takes is one victory for Styles to put himself in contention to challenge Kevin Owens for the gold. Nonetheless, it is main event time. What has been an action-packed night and certainly an interesting one at that. Here in Salt Lake City in the Delta Center, Bronson Reed and Omas coming face to face at the top of the hour. Ron Breaker, Solo Sokoa meeting in the middle of the squared circle. Something seems to be brewing there. Rhea Ripley tearing apart the women's division every chance she has gotten tonight. And now Kevin Owens locking horns with AJ Styles. These two men, no strangers to each other. Prior to AJ Styles getting drafted to SmackDown in 2023, Styles was waging war with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn as the KO and Sami show was trying to hostile take over the red brand. And now in a different way has really taken over Monday night's withholding of the championship. Sami Zayn, your intercontinental champion. Kevin Owens, the WWE champion. I'm sure AJ Styles remembers the past with Kevin Owens. And although that was some time ago, Styles back on Raw tonight, and his target is very clear. Take out Kevin Owens, earn himself a championship matchup, which you gotta believe is dangling in front of AJ Styles' face tonight if he can pick up a monumous victory here in Salt Lake City. With Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC at ringside, certainly the numbers in the corner of the phenomenal one as AJ Styles hot off the heels of a fantastic United States Championship reign on SmackDown. Victory is certainly possible here in the Delta Center. 2024 may be the year of Kevin Owens thus far, but AJ Styles looking to play spoiler upon his Monday Night Raw return. 
So far, so good. Owens was hot out of the gate, but Styles has turned the tables. And on the middle buckle, Styles no stranger to taking it to the air. As a matter of fact, is most likely more comfortable when his feet are above ground. Kevin Owens staring up at the lights. The WWE Champion may have some lingering effects from that chaotic, brutalizing, fatal four-way back at Backlash. Of course, a matchup where there was no countouts, no disqualifications, and as we talked about on that night, fatigue and injury set in a lot earlier in a fatal four-way style environment opposed to a one-on-one. -on -one. Kevin Owens might have survived and might have walked out as the WWE Champion, but that does not mean Owens is certainly thriving. It does not mean Owens is anywhere near 100%. Nonetheless, it says it on the back of a t-shirt for a reason. Kevin Owens just going to keep fighting. But at some point, the tank might run on E, and that's when AJ Styles could be most dangerous. Especially with Machine Gun Carl Anderson and the big LG Luke Gallows at ringside. The OC may be looking for their own hostile takeover of Monday nights. But Kevin Owens starting to stack the offense this time. Scale on the ropes, he does. Styles now, the one looking up at the lights, not for long. Frog splash attempt did not go the way of the champion, and the three count almost went the way of AJ Styles. Now AJ looks looking to keep the pressure on the WWE Champion now. Let that offense stack and pick apart a man who has been very difficult to beat in 2024. Just ask Seth freaking Rollins, the man who has been obsessed with trying to get his WWE Championship back. If you ask the visionary what the result of backlash was, he ain't gonna tell you Kevin Owens won fair and square. He's gonna say LA Knight got in his way and screwed him over in the fatal four-way matchup. Just one of the reasons that Knight and Seth Rollins will be crossing paths for the first time ever one-on-one -on -one at Vengeance two weeks from Saturday. Meanwhile, Owens putting Styles on the top. Styles loves to fly through the air, but not by the force of his opponents as Kevin Owens now from the top. Meanwhile, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows shouting obscurities at the WWE Champion, trying to do anything to take his eye off the ball. AJ Styles better shake off the cobwebs or he ain't gonna be able to take advantage of this momentary distraction and luck on the side of the phenomenal one that time. Owen's oh, starting to build momentum, Styles, right in a different chapter in this matchup. Another kick out that time, but you see the WWE Champion lackadaisical getting his shoulder off the canvas. Any nagging effects of backlash? Add that with the offense of AJ Styles and Kevin Owens, worse for wear in your main event, live and in living color in Salt Lake City. AJ on the outside in OC territory. The champion over the top rope, crushing AJ Styles. Nothing Anderson and Gallows can do about it. Referee's got his eyes locked on the OC. Kevin Owens needed to take advantage and not get into a screaming match with the machine gun. Owens putting his body in harm's way. Unfortunately, Anderson and Gallows may not be able to get physical. No one said they can't shout and get Kevin Owens' eye off the ball. That's exactly what they did. Meeting of the minds in the middle of the ring. AJ Styles sidesteps the WWE Champion. Jockeying for position in your main event. Styles, I am sure, hungry for victory more than ever tonight after losing his United States Championship days after being drafted to Monday Night Raw. An opportunity rearing its head. A non-title encounter with the WWE Champion. All it takes is the one, two, three, and Styles may find himself Rerun in this matchup two weeks from Saturday, but the gold being on the line. Frog splash from the top. Kevin Owens kicks out. AJ Styles may not have got the job done, but more offense being stacked, and AJ showing why he has earned the title of the phenomenal one. The Asai into the ring, but Kevin Owens again able to survive. WWE Champion has got to be hurting right now, but he's got to find a way back in this matchup now or never. AJ Styles 
Not sure what he was going for, but Owens the one who's gonna create the distance and spike Styles right on the crown of his head. And just like that, the man who just won't stop fighting is back in the driver's seat. Pop up power bomb. AJ Styles able to get the shoulder up. We have got a foot on our hands in your main event. AJ letting the offense stack. Kevin Owens saw the window of opportunity. Had to strike with the best maneuver he could, the pop-up powerbomb, but unfortunately not enough damage done to his opposer tonight to get the three count. Oh no, and now again, Kevin Owens slightly distracted by the big LG, Luke Gallows at ringside. The OC certainly with their unwelcomed presence in this main event. Styles looking to take advantage. Dropping Kevin Owens on the knee. And just like that, the phenomenal one back in control of this matchup. Going for a phenomenal forearm. Nobody home. Stunner by the champion. Kevin Owens scores victory here on Raw. The former United States champion was hoping to turn his luck around upon his Monday Night Raw return. Unfortunately for Styles, was not to be thanks to the hands of the prize fighter. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Cut back to the ring. Cut back to the ring. Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura attacking Kevin Owens from behind. Well, Nakamura for weeks has said he made a list, checked it twice, and he's had his receipts. Is this what the King of Strong style was alluding to? What the hell does Nakamura have against Kevin Owens? Or is he simply just targeting the WWE Championship? A kick Shasa to the prize fighter. Nakamura striking while the back was turned. The King doing things his own way. And a kick Shasa on the outside. Owens went through the fatal four-way at Backlash. Then this matchup with AJ Styles tonight. Nakamura striking on a weakened WWE Champion. Well, Shinsuke Nakamura wanted an opportunity against Kevin Owens for the WWE title. I'm sure all he had to do was ask. Kevin Owens trying to get Nakamura off his back, but the King, the prime target. Oh man, Kevin Owens just lifeless right now. Shinsuke Nakamura picked a time where Owens could barely defend himself. Already two King shots to the jawline of the WWE Champion, and now Kevin Owens sent into the WWE Universe on the concrete floor. I don't like this by Nakamura. Owens is in trouble. We need to get somebody out here to stop this. Nakamura! with a third King Shasa on the concrete. Shinsuke Nakamura drawing a line in the sand. The King is coming for championship gold.